Welcome to Pop-Up Camper Pro. I'm Derek Smith, and today I'm gonna to show you how to replace the bed rails on your Coleman or Fleetwood pop-up camper. It feels built between 1968 and 1997. Let's get started. First, raise the roof all the way up and chop the wheels and lower the stabilizers. We're gonna cover the basic installation first using a pre-sized bed rail. Then I'm gonna show you how to remove severely bent rails and how to size the universal rail options. Pull both of the beds all the way out to start. Now move the canvas out of the way. I'm rolling it up at the corners and clamping it. Next, remove the mattress on the bed assembly that we're gonna be working on. Place it in a clean area. Remove the stop screws. These are located at the top of each bed rail. These are tech screws and sometimes they don't wanna let go right away. Now push the bed in past the roll pins in the body rail. You're gonna push it in about 10, 12 inches past the small little roll pins. You might have little L brackets at the top lead rail on top of the body panel. If you do, lift the bed over those brackets. Clear the top tracks. These fall out when the rails are pushed past them. Now we're gonna remove the bottom tracks. These have double-sided automotive tape on them. So you wanna drive these out. I'm using a rubber mallet and a flathead screwdriver to get underneath of them and work them out of the rails. Now locate the roll pins on your camper. On this 92 Shenandoah, we have three in each body rail. Earlier units could have as many as four. Take a look at the outside of the body rail as well and look for obstructions. You can see the bottom ones behind the lift trim and the one on the end is real close to the Velcro but it's not behind the Velcro. For this Shenandoah, we're gonna to have to remove this lift trim on both sides. Drill the rivets out, remove the trim, and repeat for the opposite side. Now it's time to remove the roll pins. Using an eighth inch punch, clear the pins from the body rail. You can drive them all the way out or just drive them out of the channel. On this side, I've cleared all three just past the channel. And repeat this for the opposite side as well. The top ones I drive from the inside, the lower ones from the outside. Now it's time to pull the bed extension out of the camper. You wanna have a workspace ready to put the bed extension onto when it comes out. And this is a lot easier with two people. Now it's time to remove the rail from the bed frame. So we wanna drill the rivets out that are holding the rollers to the bed frame, and we're gonna do this from underneath the bed extension.
All right, we have our new bed rail with the rollers in it. Get a bin box for our small parts. And we're checking for the spacers. So each roller can have uh, one or two spacers between it and the bed extension. Placing the rivets in from behind. And now we'll put one spacer on each rivet set for this rail. Time to install the new rail. So place the rollers over the rivets. And here I'm just gonna clamp it to the bed frame. This is another step that's easier with two people. And pop rivet the rollers back to the bed frame. You can see I had some blue tape behind there just holding those rivets in while I set the rail on. And check the operation of the rail. Time to put the bed extension back into the camper. And we're gonna push it past the roll pins again in the body rail. So set the proper height and slide the rails in. Now we want to go ahead and get the bottom tracks ready for installation. We're going to install new double-sided automotive tape to the bottom of both of these plastic tracks. Place the tracks into the rails. Time to reinstall the roll pins, so drive these back into the body rails. Now you want to pull the bed halfway out and then we're going to push the rails back in almost past the last top roll pin. This is going to allow us to install our top tracks again. So get it just about right and I'm using a screwdriver here to push the rails in just a little bit more. And install the top tracks. And these just friction fit in between those top roll pins. Now check the operation. Cycle the bed in and out a few times.
right now we want to put our stop screws back in. So reinstall our tech screws and washers at the top of each rail. On your new rail, you'll have to make a new hole for it. Put our mattress back on. Slide the bed back in. Replace the lift trims and this job is done. Now let's say you have a severely bent rail. It's been driven in maybe. We gotta drive it back out. A hammer and pry bar from working inside the camper will get the rail out. You can also cut them out, but I find this to be easier just to drive them out. And you can drive them past the tracks. It takes some effort, but it will clear. For universal bed rails, first you want to measure the end wheel size and trim it if necessary to a flat spot. Measure and cut the rail. Then install your hardware and any stop plates. And that's it folks, this is another job that you can do. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel and give the video a thumbs up. I will see you guys at the campground.